Um, so what we're doing here today is we're redoing our entire pond. We'll uh, show you guys pictures of what it was before. But basically, we're putting this big hefty one in the ground instead of having that big mound of plastic, what we had as a liner before. Um, and we have some really special koi in here that we absolutely adore and we don't want anything bad to happen to them. So right now, I gotta switch some stuff around. I really wanna know. Holy crap. It's a baby goldfish. Oh. So does that mean the minnows that were in the, the pond are our baby goldfish? What? That's what I think. Ooh, very fast. All right, guys. And here's our calico butterfly. Um, she or he has grown twice the size that she used to be. Absolutely gorgeous little fish. Right in there, baby. Okay. I'm trying to... All right. These guys are goldfish. They were like 35 cents. They used to be really slender. Look how beautiful these fantails have come out. Oh my God, they look great. This is the only time I can get like a really good look at them. Woohoo! Platinum is fast. Ooh, careful. Careful. Now, I can't actually remember this next butterfly. Ooh, girl. This next butterfly, she's a special morph, color morph. And I can't remember what it is. Oh, and I got a, I got another baby. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, well, she's a special, she's a butterfly. And she's a special golden morph. She has, um, like, you see the top of it? How glistening she is? And then there's another baby. There's two two babies. minnows. Okay. Two minnows. Wait a minute. Oh. There's. So. So that orange I, one is a new addition. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that other fish is. That's crazy. But these guys are minnows that I got from the pond, and there was a group of like 10 of them. Look at that, they've gotten big. I'm still not really sure what they are. Huh, cool. Come on, get out of there. All right. These are gonna be, the platinum is gonna be the hard one. Ooh. Do you see how fast he is? Oh, did you get that? Did you get that? I don't know. Woo, did you yeah, get that? Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> All right. And this is just a normal koi, but really pretty pinks and platinum whites and orange. Just a really pretty fish. Gotten a lot bigger. A lot bigger. All right, and these guys are just goldfish. I picked this one out. I really liked how red he is in platinum. But it's just a normal 35 cent goldfish. They were really slender when we got it. Fantail, absolutely huge now. So big. And then the last goldie, this is just a normal goldie. Bam. Uh, huge they got huge it's crazy boom all done
So this is what we have so far. We have the big 300 gallon Rubbermaid container in the ground where our pond used to be. Um, it's gonna stick out of the ground like this. And what we're gonna do is put plants uh, around it for better shade. Cause what was happening before is we had rocks all around it. We'll show pictures. And um, it was heating up the water a lot and it was evaporating. We were getting water in between the layers of our plastic that we had down as a liner. Um, so yeah, so the next time you see this, this is going to be like all rocks and decorative. It's going to look great. So what we're trying to do is we're gonna use these conduits, half inch conduit poles, to put up a, uh, a shade over the top of the pond, just to kind of help temperature adjust the pond, keep it from getting direct sunlight like all day, and to kind of help with evaporation a little bit. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse and I can you guys can watch me set this all up. So it started thundering and lightning real bad, so I had to turn off the camera. But I just came out here real quick and uh, mixed up some concrete to go around these conduit. They don't have to be super, super sturdy. Hi, how you doing? Uh, anyway, they don't have to be super, super sturdy. Um, they're just holding up a sunshade just to cast a little shade over the pond, keep it from getting too hot and making uh, fish soup. Anyway. Just wanted to show you guys that and then we'll get to the hardware part and uh, hang up the sunshade once this stuff sets up. Cool. guys so now the renovations on the pond are done we um, we have all the rocks around we kind of got the pump looking like a natural spring coming out of a pile of rocks we already have the lily pads in and uh, our flowers are all around we have the shade up and the concrete hardened up this morning so and we've tested the water it's time to move the guys over from their little holding pond which I'm sure they're feeling cramped we got a camera underneath the water so you guys will get to see him drop in. So that's what we're going to do. So now our pond is looking good. It's all set. I had to go for a swim, put that fountain in there. A little bit more aeration, a little bit better for oxidation, you know, all the same stuff. Um, all the fish are in there. They're all happy. Uh, you might not be able to see because it's a little murky right now. 
Uh, I think we found another baby koi while we were going through. Hopefully those underwater shots turned out really good. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you know whenever I upload a new photo, uh, video. Um, also, if you have any suggestions or any questions, comment, please. I'll answer them all or I'll take all the input you got. If I did something wrong, I'm just a rookie. Let me know. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks.